For a lot of kids throughout the Twin Cities, hockey is a way of life. Go, go, go! But for many, the game can be intimidating. That's okay, that's okay. Same can be said for the parents. Where do you start? Can we make this happen? We're going back! Good job! Good job! There's a lot to love about hockey, but there's one area that could use some improvement. Diversity. There are thousands of kids playing hockey in the Twin Cities, but of those under nine years old, only 14% are minorities. That's where the Minnesota Wild and the Hockey Is For Me program come in. Our goal is to grow the game, make it more diverse and more inclusive. And a lot of these kids never would have even tried this if it weren't for those programs. Let's see these numbers increase. Let's make sure everyone knows that this fantastic sport that we all love is for everyone. And that's what this program is doing. But we all know hockey can be expensive. Well, the program has that covered. Tonight they're participating in a learn to skate session and all the kids will get four of those here at Tria Rink. They'll graduate to our little wild learn to play and they get four more sessions plus a complete set of gear, head to toe, helmet, skate, sticks, everything. But that's not all. The program doesn't just teach the game. It gives these kids the means to play and most importantly, to become part of a team. We're gonna give them a grant to continue to play hockey with their local youth hockey association. We wanted to make it as easy as possible to get these kids to play the game. Over 100 young skaters signed up for the program's inaugural year, and it didn't take long for any of them to get hooked. I really like it out here. I love being on ice. I actually like skating very fast, and I like, I want to play like, like real hockey with all the sticks and the pucks and stuff, a lot of fun. I couldn't keep my balance, but in a little bit, like, I could skate. How proud of yourself are you that you tried something new? 100%. What were some of the things that you were working on out there? Learning how to skate the most and, like, pushing yourself. You feel like you learn how to stop? Kind of. I just turn sometimes when I try to stop. But sometimes I just like crashing into the wall. For the parents, it's an opportunity that may not have been possible if it wasn't for the wild. It's a lot of great opportunity for kids who can't afford to be out there as uh, in a hockey. Especially when they say hockey is not for, you know, black community. It's really amazing for us to introduce our children for this. Teresa has sickle cell disease, which is a blood disorder um, that can be triggered by a change in weather. So the fact that she even wanted to get out on ice, her dad and I are like, let's do it. And now the parents are hooked as well. It's really beautiful watching him playing and he improved really well since day one. And I really love it. I love this program. It's amazing. Well, I'm super proud. She comes out and tries every week, and this is really unique, and this is a really first-class place to be learning how to play, and the level of coaching here is amazing. Yes, hockey can be intimidating. So can the cost. But the Wild are hoping the Hockey Is For Me program can help with both as they strive to grow the game among all Twin City communities. What we've been able to do is show a lot of families who never would have considered hockey Yes, your kids can play hockey, and it's a lot of fun. And to see these kids out there doing a sport, getting out on skates that they never would have considered before is just wonderful. We got some kids that are really doing quite well just after four weeks of learning to skate, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these kids skating at the Excel Energy Center and the Boys and Girls High School Tournament. That would be great, wouldn't it? That's the thing about hockey, anything is possible. You just need a place to start. Nice, there we go. 